I seriously have not had this much fun in a 5v5 tactical shooter since Counter-Strike OG back in 2000. That's how long it's been since I've really felt this refreshing, exciting, and thrilling experience. And Fragpunk delivers. So let's go into the video as to what all that is for. One of the first things that immediately caught my attention with Fragpunk had to have come from its gameplay and its refreshing experience and take on the 5v5 tactical shooter genre. For one, it takes a familiar approach with regards to how you play a tactical shooter, but it throws in a card system that is really complex and adds more value to the tactical and very strategic gameplay that players often really yearn for. And for me, that was really refreshing because for every round that you encounter, it's going to feel drastically different, which means that the way in which you play will always have to change, meaning you have to adapt on the fly, which to me, I think, adds so much more long term value in terms of the strategic elements and creativity for players in the game. Now, from a spectator standpoint, I think the game can really do well because of the fact that the cards exist and because the cards aren't too difficult to understand. I think if this game were to take a competitive stance and go into an esports stance, the card system, I feel, would really be a spectacular element for spectating just because, as I mentioned before, every round will feel different. Every match is going to feel different. So therefore, players who tune in are going to always be excited to know what's happening next because it's never the same. Unlike other tactical shooters on the market that take on a very straightforward approach, it's very familiar. Admittedly, it's one of the reasons why I kind of stopped playing Counter-Strike and a bit of Valorant. It's just because they didn't really change anything. The formula remained the same. But Fragpunk takes that formula and adds their own unique flair to it, which I think is a breath of fresh air. And most importantly, it creates an experience that you'll never get anywhere else. There's no other 5v5 shooter on the market that implements a card system and takes inspiration from the likes of, say, Hearthstone and even things like Magic the Gathering and just gives players a really cool and fulfilling vibe that, again, you just simply cannot get anywhere else. So that, to me, stands out the gunplay and the way in which the game performs is very smooth it doesn't seem to have any degree of frame drops at least from my experience but overall it's very satisfying and when you jump in and play everything feels fluid and the map design is wonderful so all that being said let's jump into the next point as to why i love this game What Fragpunk does so well, at least right now, is it provides great replay value. And that to me, I think is really pivotal in its long-term success as a tactical shooter in a very competitive market. Because players want something that they can latch onto. Players want something that they can feel attached to and log into the game with a sense of fulfillment. And Fragpunk for me right now, really gives me that sense of fulfillment. There's a lot of things to learn, not just in the gun play, but more so in the card elements and how they can really help to just develop more strategic set plays in every match you play. And then you tie that in with the fun characters that you have and you have a recipe for success. We've seen games on the market that have come and gone very, very fast. And that's just because they fail to understand the market. They fail to understand their player base, the community, and what really drives a game to sustain itself over time. And I really do feel like the developers at Fragpunk right now have a good sense of what their community wants, what the genre is about, but then throwing in their own unique sense of individuality to make the game feel different and fluid at the same time. And so great replay value really far exceeds that of any other elements of Fragpunk. And that's just because, again, if you can't retain your audience, it doesn't matter how pretty your game is. 
it's going to fall and it's going to fall hard. But if you can really maintain that consistency in terms of replay value, you're always going to have a player base that will keep coming back for more. And so long as new elements are added, such as new cards and fun new characters that really add more to that complexity and depth of Fragpunk, this game will forever see success, hopefully in an esports scene. But just even as a casual experience, having great replay value and fun characters alongside its visual appeal are what will sell the game and hopefully more players will come through in the long run. And that being said, let's jump into the last point as to why I think Ragpunk is going to be great. Gunplay, fun characters, unique experience, all those things encapsulate what could potentially be a successful game. But what really supersedes all of these things, and perhaps is the most pivotal to the future and success of Fragpunk, is the community. And this is where the fun part of Fragpunk comes into play, because without a community, the game won't be fun at all. I'll just keep it real. Any game that I dive into, there has to be a community behind it that is uplifting and is willing to see the game grow and see the game shine for the long term. And you can see that in the likes of Counter-Strike and Valorant or other respective games in their genre where the community is really supportive and they really back the developers with their enthusiasm, their appreciation and gratitude for the game. So Fragpunk really has elements for that right now. Fragpunk is sitting on a gold mine of a lot of potential with regards to, again, its gameplay, its fluidity, its fun cast of characters. And I imagine that down the road, once the game does fully release, we're going to see a larger, you know, a larger group of characters to use and maybe more maps and more modes, more cards. And all that will be fun, but ultimately the community has to be supportive of it. So if the devs are watching this video, definitely focus on building not just an online presence, but an offline presence too. Think of global events, think of local events, just think of things that are going to help the community continue to foster a positive growth as opposed to other respective games and companies that have ignored their player base, completely just not understanding what their players want and then leaving the game to die which we already know is not a good thing. So in the end, I'm having a great time with Fragpunk. I will continue to play the game. I highly support y'all to continue doing what you do best. For those watching, if you haven't done so already, try out the closed beta test before it ends. If not, wait until the next one, maybe an open beta. But in the end, Pick up Fragpunk, play it, especially if you're a fan of the 5v5 tactical shooter genre. If you've come from Valorant, if you've come from CSGO, definitely jump into this game. It's extremely fun, very rewarding. And as I said, as long as we can come together as a community and continue to build upon the foundation that Fragpunk has given us, we will see nothing but success for the long term. So all that being said, New Warriors, like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the content look forward to more frag punk and other sci-fi games in the future and as always new warriors stay strong keep fighting and may the force be with you all always see you next time peace